Thank you so much for taking the time, uh, both to be at Ignite, but also for us for this session. I really appreciate it. Bringing all this together, this really is the heart of our Zero Trust story. You know, up until now, we've had identities and endpoints. I'm just really excited that with the addition of intra private access and internet access, that now we can bring the network into that as well. Right, so not only are we able to give you signals about, hey, is this the right person on the right device, but now we can tell you, hey, are they coming over a secure network? Uh, is the network, where, and, and where are they coming from? This gives us a bunch of really cool new capabilities. Right, so by adding in a compliant network, we pick up, first of all, the ability to really do an amazing job of continue access evaluation. Even for your legacy applications, we can now use the network to be able to instantly terminate a user session if something goes wrong. The device becomes infected, you realize that that user is not the user you thought they were, they go to a location they're not supposed to be in. The network, with having the combination of network and identity, we can do these amazing real-time mitigations. So now we can get you to things like RDP servers. We can get you to things like printers. We can get you to file shares. We can get you to legacy applications that maybe aren't even integrated with our identity system yet and give you the full power of our conditional access system and our zero trust benefit just because all of those things, the user, the device and the network are now all integrated into the Zero Trust engine. Um, we were just overwhelmed in July when we public previewed. Um, the, uh, the response from customers was just enormous. That it is super easy to roll out and deploy. Is that what you're hearing too? Yeah, I think again, it goes back to that policy engine. Um, you know, they have the CA policies and it's just, an, just a natural extension of, you know, you just extend, use the additional conditions and conditional access. Um, so this is what we launched in July. We launched two new products, Intra Internet Access and Intra Private Access. And those two products, in addition with uh, our cloud, um, our CASB product, Defender for Cloud Apps, that's what comprises the secure service edge for Microsoft. And what this really enables customers to do is to enable anywhere, anytime, any device access to any resource, regardless of where that resource runs. So if the resource is in AWS, no problem. If the resource is on-premise, no problem. If it's in a website, if it's in any destination. And so this is what we've launched. And internet access enables you to protect the user's device as they interact with the internet. And private access enables the connectivity model to reach those resources without joining a network. So you, there's no IP, the client doesn't get a, an IP address, so there's no lateral movement possible. And so we enable you to embrace access without joining uh, the corporate network. So today we're super excited to announce, in July we had a secure web gateway for M365. Well today we're excited to announce secure web gateway for all destinations. We also advanced our private access capability. We had TCP support in July. We now have UDP support and private DNS. Third thing, we added cross um, OS platform support. So we had Windows in July. We now have Android, we have iOS, we have Mac. So we have cr full cross OS clients now. We also expanded to the remote network. It's now in public preview. So you can connect up your branch network, your VPC in AWS, any network, as long as it can support an IPsec tunnel, which every firewall, every SD-WAN device can, you can send the traffic to our globally distributed proxy. And lastly, we're up all over the world now. In July, we were just US and uh, the North America and Europe. We're now up everywhere except for China and Russia, and China will come. So one of the most frequently asked questions from customers, okay, we have already maybe an existing SSE solution. How are you different, Microsoft? And so I would just point out for three things. Other SSE providers, they import the users and groups from the IDP, and then they do everything. We are completely doing it differently. We've collapsed the identity controls and the network security controls fully together. The second thing is other SSE providers use the internet. We actually have a global, private, wide area network that is in every country all over the world. It is, we completely manage it. There, there's no jitter on our network. And we have like, again, these, this is the same network that runs Azure, M365, ChatGPT, GitHub, LinkedIn. It's an amazing network. 
And then the third thing is we support side by side. We rely, some customers may already have an SSE provider. We are the preferred option to connect to M365 and we can totally exist side by side. You decide what's right for your org. We hope you use us for everything, but it's okay if you just want to use us for M365. Why does the network matter? The network matters because of the user experience. And it's really, really important in services like this, you must have balanced the security controls with great user experience. And we really think uh, hyperscalers you know, will provide the best options because they have one of the strongest um, private uh, networks. Um, and I talked to you about M365. So several things that we did here. Firstly, we created a new signaling protocol with M365. So we have added new security controls, and you can, you can configure those now, but we don't break and inspect Office 365 traffic. And we signal to the workload, and the workload enforces those security controls. And that allows us to give the best performance for M365. And you can see this if you go into your M365 admin experience. They have a network, pro network productivity score and network um, performance scores. And you will see that we will uh, get the best user experience in all the different locations all over the world. We've also added a new log type for M365. It has less events, but they're also enriched with device context, network context, and identity context. So best security, visibility, and performance for M365. We're also fully committed to being an open platform and ecosystem. And in particular, we want customers to be able to deploy us side by side. And we're excited to, you know, to have our first partner publishing guidance, which is Netscope, where they're published how you can deploy side by side. We're working with all of the other SSE providers, and they soon will be publishing guidelines on how you might deploy side by side. But it's not just there. You, uh, customers have a lot of security controls. Our networking logs can be seamlessly integrated into Sentinel or to any of your SIEM provider of choice. Similarly, you can deploy our connector anywhere, um, whether that be AWS or GCP. We also have the most comprehensive device compliance via Intune. So remember, in conditional access, we, we just have a very simple check. Is the device compliant? It's up to you as an organization to say what device compliance means for you. And Intune has the most comprehensive number of EDR solutions in place to, so that you can say you're using carbon black, no problem. If you're using Defender, um, they, they have done all of the integration with these EDRs, and you inherit that by default with our SSE solution. So here's a list of all the capabilities. We're in public preview now. We're also targeting to be in GA in the first half of the year. Look, we're the only vendor in the world now that's giving you a full zero trust solution across identities, devices, and network. You want it. I promise you, you're going to love it. 